Welcome to episode 36 of G Hallow's Beer Reviews. Tonight I will be reviewing 12 Days Brown Ale, or Dark Brown Ale, from the Hook Norton Brewery in the United Kingdom. Uh, I love their motto, and this was on their last one that I reviewed earlier. If you look through my reviews, I did another Hook Norton Brewery um, Ale. Uh, it says, where progress is measured in pints. So I think that's a very good motto. Um, yeah, so what can I tell you about this beer? It comes in a 500 milliliter bottle at 5.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, as I said, it's a product of the United Kingdom. Um, yes, so I'm just looking exactly where it is. Oxen in the United Kingdom, it says that. Uh, it says where it is. So and on the back here, uh, it describes it as 12 days is a strong dark brown beer offering... Uh, dominant multi palette with nutty overtones giving way to a lyrical sweetness it's very uh good play on words there that speaks for its strength it's a fine partner to the cheese board cheers well i imagine a cheese board would be nice with this i don't have one of these at the moment but uh, maybe next time if <laughs> if i like it uh, and it says we have been brewing award-winning beers since 1849 our traditional victorian tower brewery deep in the oxfordshire countryside is still powered by a steam engine well that's interesting to know our beers contain natural ingredients malted barley and wheat hops and yeast the pure water from our spring and, and pure with and pure water from our spring fed well so yeah so it, it sells itself well it sounds delicious so let's crack this one open for some reason i've seen this for a while and the label never grabbed me I know marketing is one thing that all all of us fall into human beings naturally and that's why well, it's such a big business how things are how things look you know and whether it's attractive to buy for some reason I've just never it's never caught my eye that's a very colorful label but um, there's something about it but I've got a feeling that it might surprise me anyway let's crack this open and we'll see how it is I'm a bit uncoordinated to pull with my uh, left hand. It's got the Fiji bit of mug glass. Oh, it is dark. It looks good. I can smell that already. We'll just let that settle for a bit, but we'll go off this. As for the appearance, two fingers of head, a mocha colored head. Yeah, it looks really good. A really tightly uh, formed head as well. Uh, not soapy, or not towards the soapy uh, consistency. Uh, as for the color, yeah, you can't see your fingers through it. Towards the bottom, it's sort of a more of a ruby red, but uh, through the body of the beer, it is quite, quite dark with a little bit of a like sort of rusty tinge if I could describe it that way I'll just top this up okay as for the smell yeah just as with the other Hook Norton Brewery um, ale that I had it's got that beautiful smell of the dark fruits coming through it smells great it smells like prunes you know, dried prunes, sultanas again, dark, dark fruits. Yeah, yeah, something you expect from a, like a fruit cake. Mmm, raspberry, no, oh, sorry, not raspberry, cherry, sorry, <laughs> not raspberry, not raspberry, cherry. I had a picture in my head and I said the wrong word. <laughs> yeah, cherry. But hey, why not? We'll say raspberry, but sounds good. But no, nah, cherry. And then I'm getting that mocha coming through too, like a mocha sort of a smell. Coffee from the malts. Mmm, smells really good. It smells really good, actually. All right, taste test. Cheers. Yeah. I just read a reviewed Cascade Pale Pale Ale, which I later found out is not an ale, it's a lager. And you think you go from that to this, this is just It's got a sort of a 
characteristic like a stout. It's sort of leaning towards that, even though it's still an ale. Uh, very bitter, but with the fruit sweetiness in there as well. Uh, you're getting the dark fruits in there, the maltiness, and then the bitterness at the end. And the bitterness does linger for a while, but you'd expect that of this type of beer. Just another sip. Yeah, cherry, sort of prune, date sort of taste. Sweet, and then the bitterness is there instantly afterwards, and it lingers in the palate with a coffee sort of mocha taste. Very good, very good. I, I'm really enjoying this. I think this is quite nice. One more sip and I'll give it a score. Yeah, every sip gets better. Great ale. See, for the label, it was deceiving for me. I, I pictured it as a... I didn't even really look what it was. I just pictured it as a fresh sort of... In a brown bottle, but I just thought it was like a... You know, blonde sort of beer or something like that. But um, it's actually a dark, dark ale, as you can see. And I'd give this... For Hook Norton Brewery, the 12 days from Hook Norton Brewery, a 9 out of 10. I think it's a great dark ale. If you love that robust, you love the robust flavours of this type of beer, you, you're going to get it in this. 9 out of 10 for the 12 days brown ale, or dark brown ale, from the Hook Norton Brewery. 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching another G Hallow Beer Review, and I'll see you in the next review. Cheers.